A man tonight is charged with murder in the strangulation of 15-year-old Amaris Parker in South Shore last week. Joshua Williams appeared in court for a detention hearing today after police arrested him on Saturday. WGN's Dana Rebick is live at 26 in California with details. Dana. Well, a judge ordered Joshua Williams to remain detained. Again, he is charged with first degree murder in the strangulation death of 15 year old Amaris Parker. We spoke with her mother late last week outside this man's apartment building. She had reached out to me and was trying to come home and she had strength enough to give the actual address 7259 East Phillips. Johanna Clark says her daughter, 15 year old Amiris Parker, repeatedly ran away to see this man, 24 year old Joshua Williams, who lived in this South Shore apartment building. She was dating this young man that knew she was underage. When I came, they opened the gate and I saw him in there. Chicago police say on December 10th, Parker was inside and went to Joshua Williams neighbor's house asking to use his phone to call her mom to come pick her up. Her mother went but couldn't find her. The next morning, Parker called back and her mom went again. I picked her up on the corner right there and she ended up leaving again. Parker told her mom Williams would not let her leave his apartment and she escaped when he thought she was in the bathroom. Later that day, Johanna Clark left her apartment to pick her other daughter up from school and when she got back, Amiris was gone, returning to Williams' apartment where a neighbor reported hearing them arguing. Police say later the next night, the defendant called his cousin and said Parker was foaming at the mouth and he didn't know what to do. That cousin called 911. When an ambulance arrived, Parker was found lying in an open closet unresponsive. Paramedics say she had a necklace lodged in her throat, noting her neck was red and cut with scratches and cuts on her face. After an autopsy, the medical examiner said Parker's windpipe was crushed, ruling her death homicide by strangulation. Police questioned Williams the following day and released him, but arrested him three days later. He denied harming Parker, saying they fell asleep and she didn't wake up the next day. But after reviewing Williams' phone, police say they found videos of him touching Parker's dead body, as well as more than 50 Google searches related to strangulation, the death penalty, and how to explain an asphyxiation death. And we learned in court today that Joshua Williams is actually a fugitive wanted on an out of state warrant out of El Paso County, Texas for a strangulation case there back in 2019. His next court date here in Cook County is on January 10th. Live at 26th in California, Dana Rebic, WGN News. All right, I'll take it from you, Dana.